Leroy Page was born in Alabama State. His mother cleaned folks' homes. To look at him, nobody thought that one day he'd be great. Greatest baseball pitcher ever known. He got a job toting bags down at the train depot. He could carry more than folks three times his age. He hoisted so much luggage that his first name had to go. Goodbye, Leroy. Hello, Satchel Page. He was sent off to reform school when he was 12 or more. Spent about six years behind that wall. And like a kid named George doing time in Baltimore. That's where he learned to throw and hit the ball. He pitched in semi-pro the Negro League Baseball. Never stopped, he proved that he could win. He knew that the majors would never place that call because of the color of his skin. He played for many baseball clubs, moving all around, wherever he was offered the most go. Throughout the Americas, Satchi could be found, hero everywhere he goes. He led his black all-stars barnstorming to and fro, playing white stars led by Dizzy Dean. Old Diz, Bob Feller, and even Jolton Joe Called Sat the best he'd ever seen And then in 1947, baseball saw a change Which ushered in a new exciting time When Jackie Robinson, oh it seemed so very strange Slid safely in across the color line it was too late for Josh Gibson and cool Papa Bell But Satchel had another place to go It was a moment in our history we should remember well Satchel finally made it to the show There was one more honor in 1971 to add to his already famous name. Satchel earned a plaque for all he had done. You can see it hanging in the Baseball Hall of Fame. This has been the story of Leroy Satchel Page, some of which is probably even true. He left a piece of wisdom valid every age. Advice for the likes of me and you. Don't look back. Something could be gaining on you. Don't look back. Keep on pushing through. Don't look back. Keep on doing what you gotta do. Listen to the sage call Satchel Page. Something could be gaining on you. Something could be gaining on you. Satchel Page.